All right, what's up you guys? Good morning and welcome to a special video today because um, no, there's no car events or anything today, unfortunately, but I decided that I want to do a new reveal for you guys today. So without further ado, um, before we get into the video, I just want to say um, this weekend we're having a special event going on and I will be going live live stream on YouTube. My last video on live stream on YouTube did very well, over 200 views. So for those of you guys who did watch it, Thank you guys very much for all that. I appreciate it. Hope to get some more subscribers for the summer. And there's a lot more events that we're going to be heading to. My brand new Subaru, guys. Uh, 2.5 Subaru Impreza. 2008, by the way. Uh, two years newer than my other Impreza that I had. Uh, this one's a hatchback. Um, I've always, I don't know why, but I've always liked the hatchbacks on these ones. Um, it just gives it kind of an aggressive look, especially the taillights. I like it a lot. Got my license plate, zero fucks given. Y'all know what's up. Um, got my exhaust right there. Stock, the exhaust, guys, I'm keeping it stock as hell. Um, if I do anything to the exhaust, it's probably gonna be I'm gonna go to La Chute Performance and I'll have a little sound but not too crazy loud like I had before. Uh, these ones I believe are 16s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep, 16s. So that means uh, JDM wheels gold will be going on these ones, absolutely. I'll go to uh, shout out to Osaka JDM. I'm gonna be visiting him again. I'm gonna be keeping the stock seats. Definitely. Uh, I know how to change the front seats anyways, but I'd rather not. Um, we, we got some modifications we're gonna be doing to this car for sure, but in time, in time. So, you guys are probably wondering now, why the hell would you give up a car that you spend about $2,000 of modifications or less? I've got a few reasons for you guys. So, let's get started. Okay, I try to position my camera on here, but the view will be a little bit too far, and with the wind, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. So let's get right into it, shall we? Why did I buy, sell my beautiful Impreza 2006 for, for a 2008 hatchback Impreza? Well, first things first, um, for, okay, let me just say a couple of things before we get into it. I missed my other car, um, it was, it was amazing and handled very well, 226,000 kilometers and the car ran like it was brand new. Yeah, it was leaking some oil for some stupid reason, but the, the oil pan had no holes or leaks or anything like that. So it was very strange. So the reason I sold that car was because I was trying to build up my credit. And I went to a dealer, they told me they got me approved, but then the bank says I wasn't making enough money for a $14,000 car. They quoted me at two ninety five dollars per month with 24, with uh, not 24, um, uh, five or 4% interest rate per month, which was very good, but the bank says I wasn't making enough, so I couldn't get that car. So I had $5,000 cash, I had to have a plan B. I had to have a plan B. So that's why I bought this car. Why did I sell the other car is because pretty much um, I kept getting pulled over every single week by the cops um, it wasn't fun always looking over my shoulder it wasn't fun checking every intersection for an undercover cop or anything like that um, I do I did love the attention I got from others you know hey man nice car or pissing people off revving at people because they cut me off or keep your distance behind me it was funny to get people mad but was it worth it? No, not in my opinion. So, and I got a lot of noise complaints with the other car, it was too loud, this and that. And in my, in my street, I have an intersection where there's like a little parking lot and the cops, now they still park there, they know my car, they know my license plate. Uh, license plates change, by the way, so old license plate doesn't exist no more, so yeah. So, um, I was supposed to do an engine swap on that car. Um, maybe it'll happen on this car in the near future. Who knows? Um, I did change the two seats in the front to STI. I did have a Ryan Turk shift knob, which I do have still, but for some reason with this, with this car, I cannot undo the shift knob. So I'll have to go to La Chute Performance to do that. 
Um, I had rally armor on the car, which I have to buy some rally armor on this car. I bought, a, I bought like an electric uh, screwdriver yesterday, so it's going to help. Just screwed in the fenders and that's pretty much about it, no big deal. I'm not going to do a whole kit and all that, it's, not a, it's just dumb. Um, what else? Carbon fiber hood. I liked it, I loved it, it was amazing. It gave it the most aggressive look. I miss it, but like I said, always having to watch over my back for cops, always have to looking out for cops, being paranoid and everything, always having, always having to be quiet. It was just a pain for me, so I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of getting pulled over. Let's just get something that's newer, no scratches, no rust. This car is completely clean, guys. There's no rust, nothing. 191,000 kilometers. And the car, when I bought it two days ago, was so clean, it was ridiculous. Uh, shout out to my friend Ryan who sold me the car. Um, car actually has LED lights at night. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm running on winter tires, 16s, which are the same ones as my other Impreza. So I will be getting 16s or 17s, JDM gold wheels. Um, I'm not going to do any modifications to this car at all. It's my daily driver. I treat the car with respect. Um, however, I do see some Imprezas with like, like a little spoiler on top, like a little wingish or whatever you call it. I don't know how, I don't know how it's going to look. I'm going to have to do a lot of research about modifying this car before I do anything at all. Um, what else? Yep, I, you guys can see it's actually really, really clean. It's a little dirty-ish, don't mind it, but no scratches, guys. No dents, no rust. Ryan kept it really, really clean, and I'm super happy about that. My grandpa, my, actually, my family is very impressed on, on this purchase. You guys already know, it's a five-speed manual transmission. I love driving manual. I feel more in control while I drive manual. So you guys saw the outside is this and clean. I'm gonna show you guys the inside now. So you got the new Subaru logo, regular. Cruise control, uh, cancel, accelerate, coast. You got your uh, volume up and down, which is pretty cool. Handbrake, which actually works, not like my other one. Um, got five speed manual transmission. Um, actually, let me show you guys something. Uh, there's this little thing right in here that's attached to the shift knob so I would have to literally undo this whole console just to remove the shift knob to install Ryan Turk but honestly I think I'm trying to get a Cobb shift knob have it installed at a uh, less shoot performance and that's it to make it simple car is very clean got the, got the stock Impreza seats I love it all right uh, where's my keys? We'll give her a little start up for you guys. There's no exhaust or anything loud, so uh, it's gonna be a very quiet start up, which I'm happy about. So as you guys can see, 191,350. Uh, you guys saw that my other Subaru had 226,000 kilometers, so I'm gonna take this car all the way up. So I wanted I want to do like a review like when I'm driving the car shifting and everything while I'm recording but unfortunately uh, that can't happen because I don't have a proper a proper stand um, I tried to like I, I put it here it works but it's gonna get in the way of my shifter so I can't do that for safety reasons here forget it's gonna fall off and I had previous problems before when I try to put a uh, a stand on my windshield freaking thing that want to come off so we're gonna have to try and figure something out um honestly i'm not sure how to figure it out but 
be creative, literally. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this small little video of my Subaru Impreza 2008 hatchback 2.5. Um, if you guys want to see a better review, uh, let me know. This is actually the second time I do review, but the other one I didn't know so much about because it was just a rental. This one here is actually my car. I paid it cash. Um, if I'm missing anything out, let me know in the comments. I always check the comments. You know, I'm always interactive with you guys. Um, if you guys want to see more videos of the Subaru, any ideas for modifications, any ideas for a project, or you guys want to see something added to the car, Hit me up in the comments. Let me know. I'm all ears. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys very soon for a YouTube live stream coming up very soon. Probably going to be Wednesday or Thursday if I go to that track. And um, this weekend coming up, we got another awesome event. Hopefully, if it doesn't rain, we'll pray to God. And I will see you guys very soon. Thank you guys very much for watching. And have yourselves a beautiful, amazing, sunny day. Peace.